One of the important questions which um, we have been interested in and our basic research in affective neuroscience has motivated is looking at circuitry that we know to be important in emotion regulation. Uh, and as part of a program of basic research on uh, the neural bases of emotion regulation, uh, we have been collaborating with uh, Ned Kalin, uh, who is a psychiatrist at Wisconsin, uh, looking at a non-human primate model of anxious temperament. Uh, and from those data, we have glean some important insights which have also been uh, observed in human subjects uh, uh, regarding uh, amygdala prefrontal interactions as they pertain to emotion regulation. So I'd like to just take a very brief diversion, show you a little bit of the data that provide the context for the questions that we're asking in meditation. So this is from a recent paper. Uh, Rasmus Byrne is a colleague at Wisconsin um, who actually used to be here at NIH uh, um, uh, with Peter Banditini. Uh, and um, what we're looking at here is uh, micro pet measures of glucose metabolism uh, in rhesus monkeys in response to a um, simple challenge uh, from which anxious temperament is assessed. And um, what we're looking at here is relations between connectivity between the medial prefrontal cortex and the central nucleus of the amygdala. So the central nucleus of the amygdala is um, displayed here, and connectivity between the medial prefrontal cortex and the central nucleus of the amygdala uh, is displayed on the abscissa. And what you can see is that the greater the connectivity between these regions, the lower the metabolic activity in the central nucleus of the amygdala. And it suggests that positively coupled connectivity between these regions is associated with modulation of the amygdala, reduced activity in the amygdala, which, as I'll show you in a moment, is in the animal model, is associated with less anxiety, with lower levels of anxious temperament. Um, so uh, in this figure here, we see the same basic relationship with the dorsolateral prefrontal cortex and the amygdala. And so um, here, what I display is the uh, connectivity between the prefrontal cortex and the central nucleus of the amygdala on the abscissa. And on the ordinate is a measure of anxious temperament that we um, derive from two behavioral indices. One is the duration of freezing, the other is the cessation of cooing, and the third metric is cortisol. Uh, and they're combined in a standardized measure of anxious temperament uh, that is plotted on the ordinate. And what you can see is that greater connectivity is associated with lower levels of anxious temperament. So now the question is, do we see a similar pattern of functional connectivity um, that may be impacted by meditation? And how might that be related to um, uh, characteristics of well-being in the human subjects? 